Hi, welcome to Learn Sax Online. I'm Willow Nielsen. We're going to look at some beginner finger exercises. One of the first exercises I suggest for the fingers is isometrics. This is where you contract the muscle and hold it for a certain amount of time, say 20 to 30 seconds. So um, it's also a good way of holding your finger in the shape that it should be. Some people play the saxophone with flat fingers, but the curved fingers is stronger. So I suggest you use the tips of the fingers within the middle of the pearls and keep your fingers bent. It's a much stronger way to go. You also, if you're moving them straight, if you if you press hard with straight fingers, you can stress the joint and you really don't want that because you'll end up with arthritis. So the isometric exercise, I usually start with my ring fingers because they're the weakest fingers on my body and then the uh, little fingers after that. So it looks a little something like this. So right now we're doing the ring finger. You get it in, your thumb in the position that it should be in, which is on the thumb rest at the back. And then you press your third finger down and just hold it. It's good to rest your other fingers against the other keys so you get used to not moving your fingers away from the keys. And just hold it there and it'll get tired. The isometric exercise is good to do with every finger. I would do it with all of these fingers, holding them down one at a time for 30 seconds each every day, and you'll be surprised what it does for your fingering. One big mistake I see beginners make is when they're playing notes, is they move their fingers really far away from the keys. Moving the fingers really far away from the keys is a needless waste of energy. You only need to move them up a little way and try to keep them still touching the pearls. This is a very important thing to focus on in the beginning because changing this habit is very difficult. So this exercise can also be practiced without playing your instrument. Maybe you're watching a TV show and you just want to sit there and move your finger and try to feel the pad underneath your finger the whole time. When you're practicing, Try to do the same. The exercise is in the downloadable PDF sheet. Get you to move different numbers of fingers at once. So for the first exercise, it's mainly moving one finger, with the exception of when you go from C to D, where you're moving from one finger through to putting all of the fingers down. So. <laughs> So I put a number of repeating them by 20. You can repeat them for however long you want. Remember, it's about exercising the finger. It's also important to note that moving it fast is not that important because you move your finger at the same speed no matter how slow you play the exercise. Because if you were to move your finger slowly, it would sound like this. So you are pressing it at the same speed no matter how slow you are going between each note. So, with the exercises where you're moving two fingers at once, it's important to make sure that you move those fingers at the same time so that you don't get sounds like this. The flamming type of effect. It's uh, very important for the C to D exercise. I see that can be a big challenge for those who are just new to the saxophone. 